one year later, two years later, we're back with an update on the EA Falcon. Everyone's been asking, where's episode three? The car's been on hold. It's been sitting around in my backyard for ages. And finally, we're getting it on the road. It's actually getting regged this Friday, which is amazing. Super pumped about it. For those of you guys just tuning in for the first time, this has been a project that I've had for a couple of years. We've got other projects going on at the same time. Basically bought the car sight unseen off marketplace, completely trashed. I have cut and buffed it to bring it up to a whole new level. It's not perfect, but it actually looks somewhat presentable. There's some imperfections and stuff, but you know, it looks all right. Yeah, so I picked up this car. It had a chipped front bar, it was missing a side strip. It had the wrong wheels on it. It was all scratched and stuff from the previous owner. It had rust, it had, the interior was completely minced. Um, yeah, look at the rust, it's all been fixed. It does have a few slight little dints in that, but I don't really care because it's an old car and it's not my, really my intention to like do a paint job and everything because that's really, that's a lot of effort. I'm already doing paint jobs on another two cars, so. So with the rust that was on the car, unfortunately I did not get any footage fixing it. <laughs> One, because it was probably dodgy, uh, no. What we did was we actually cut out what was in there. Um, we used some fiberglass filler. We used a bit of bog. Um, I don't know if we did any welding and stuff. None of them were really that big to do welding, like just small stuff. But yeah, it's looking good. It's actually been fixed now for ages. I just haven't really done an update or anything. The car's looking fairly neat. We are running my brother's old EB Fairmont wheels on the car because it's gone in for roadworthy and those tires were just mint. The tires on the snowflakes that I have, not so good, like you could drive on them, but you know, I'm not gonna drive it every day. Eventually I might get new tires put on them. Um, I just thought I'd make it easier on myself and put the, uh, the EB ones on. Save myself uh, some cash there. So endless amounts of cleaning on this car. So it started off as an absolute pig, like I said before, chips and rust and scratches. And we've used a juice Q-cut compound to cut and buff the car and then seal it with the Meguiar's. I forget what it's called, some sealant thing that seals it and you know two years later it's still looking pretty fresh still looking good when i first started the car it was during covid that's why you see me wearing a mask uh, it was like when covid first hit and like masks were mandatory and like who knows what was going to happen i was like working on the on the street with a mask on and like you look back on that now and you're fucking idiot yeah just a quick recap cleaned up the car side strips on did some mechanical work put a new starter motor in there um we had an exhaust leak we fixed that up again didn't get footage of it, unfortunately. And I'm keen as to bring it to a car meet, like an A-series meet or something like that. And you guys can check it out in person. It's definitely far from a show car, but um, yeah, I actually bought the car for 500 bucks. Unseen on Marketplace. I just wanted a white S-Pack and I'm like, yo, I'm buying that. <laughs> Very hard to find them for that price now. In episode two, was more focused on the interior. So fully pulled out the carpet, pulled out the seats. Got new seats in there, high pressure washed the new seats, high pressure washed all the old carpet, vacuumed the crap out of it. And um, yeah, painted up a few console pieces inside. And then yeah, the, the interior was looking mint, like cleaned everything properly. I recently found an original EA Ford factory radio to go in the gaping hole that was in the dash. Um, so we've popped that in as well. And, but yeah, I'm super pumped with how the car is going at the moment. And I'm also super pumped to drive this thing on the road. I'm just having a look at the old video. My God, it was two years ago. Two years ago, I posted the last episode, episode three. And that was the end. You didn't see any more of it, but yeah. So the car's been sitting around in my backyard for pretty much two years. Yeah, and they're, they're super popular now. They look cool when you see them driving because you don't see them anymore. Unless it's like some old dude, some old dude who's just kind of trashed it and still driving it. There is some clean ones around too. I'm not saying they're all completely gone, but it, they look sick when you see one driving, especially at night, it's all cleaned up properly. You know, lights are working properly and underneath of the car is like clean, nice fat tires on it. So that's another issue we have. The engine in that car runs. It was my, one of my mechanics said to me that it may have a head gasket issue. So I did a cheap and nasty fix on it. We did get some head gasket fix in a bottle, Kemi Wild put that in there just so it can pass its roadworthy. And then we may be looking into engine swapping it, which is obviously a lot easier once it's on the road and also to get engineer certificates and stuff like that. So I'm super pumped with the car and how it's come out. 
apologies for all the people messaging and stuff like this YouTube channel is not obviously not my number one priority of I run a business I'm a dad got a family and stuff like that as well running a house and yeah it's just not at the top of my priority list all the time I do get bursts of motivation when I'm quiet with work so the YouTube channel kind of took off a little bit more when COVID hit because I had heaps more time to just work on my own videos rather than other people's because that's what I do for work. Working on videos, predominantly in real estate. So if you're a real estate agent, you need videos, hit me up. Or photography, I do photography, drone, floor plan, whatever. Anyway, guys, so yeah, it's a quick update. Um, and yeah, I'm super pumped to drive this thing and head to a couple of E-Series meets and maybe see you down at Highway or maybe see you down at uh, wherever, cruising around Melbourne. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. The VL is coming along. Uh, we have actually got some color down on that. If you follow me on Insta, you might've seen it. Um, painted the front off, but yeah, stay tuned. And hopefully the next upload won't be too far away. Thanks guys. Love you all. I better go eat my dinner.